C1 What a shock. You are listening at FameTV.info. My friends, wake up, life is in sports, my fellow villagers, the new sun has already risen. Why are you still sleeping in your bed? Sick or dead? Wake up, my friend, and let us greet this beautiful day together. The sun had yet to rise and the chickens had yet to crow when a tender female voice sounded from the streets of the capital grabbing her homemade megaphone, she stood in her own custom. Made cart as she marched in circles around King City. I in her own words, she was doing it in a bed, the citizens who were still sleeping were already used to it. They took out two earplugs from beside the pillow and stuffed them into their ears, just as he finished, he heard a shocking song coming from the large stand in the center of the city. The boundless horizon is my love. The green flowers bloom at the foot of the mountain. I am looking into the distance, above the moon. Ah, if everyone gives a little love, the world will become a beautiful world, the townspeople finally couldn't hold it in anymore, they sat up in bed and began to dress and wash their faces and rinse their mouths, ever since the young ancestor fell into the river and woke up from his coma, there had been no peaceful days in the capital. Everyone had not slept soundly for who knew how many days. However, everyone only dared to be angry at the culprit, after all, she was the young miss of the prime minister's estate, the cousin granddaughter that the empress dowager doted on the most. There wasn't a single person in Xianyuan kingdom who disrespected her. Wasn't it just doing whatever the ancestor wanted after breakfast, everyone left the palace with tacit understanding, gathering at the entrance of the palace. Come, come, come. The front row sells melon seeds, peanuts, and small stools. One gold coin for a bunch, the front row peddlers had arrived a long time ago. Each of them was holding on to a handful of peanuts, waiting to see a show. As soon as the white carriage stopped in the morning, a woman of about 200 jean came running over. She was dressed in red, with an emerald green skirt and bright orange outer garment, the floor seemed to tremble with every step she took. Seventh Prince, Seventh Prince. The woman's clear voice suddenly rang out. She braked and her entire body slid forward due to inertia. It was unknown if it was an illusion or if it was real, but it seemed like there was smoke coming from behind her, behind the young girl were six servants, three men and three women. Each of them was slim and had an extremely good appearance. They raised their heads high and followed their lord like a wisp of smoke. After standing still, their eyes were filled with contempt and disdain for the citizens. Seventh Prince, I missed you so much in one night. The woman's painted black eyes were like that of a panda's, two bright red lumps on either side of her face like a monkey's fart. Her bloody mouth was constantly moving, and no matter how one looked at it, it was extremely horrifying, without a doubt, the young miss of the Prime Minister's estate, Xiao Yangjiao, had once again refreshed everyone's understanding of the ugly woman. Ugh, she was just a step away from puking under her bewitching attacks, the curtain of the carriage was slightly lifted, and a servant girl in red stood respectfully to the side. Her figure was well dot proportioned, and her appearance was extremely beautiful. She slightly bent her body, waiting for the person on the carriage to alight that a man alighted from the carriage. He was calm and collected. Although he was dressed in ordinary court clothes, it was still difficult to hide his noble aura. His movements were graceful and indifferent, the pair of phoenix eyes slightly lifted upwards. Seeing Xiao Liang Jin, she gave a distant smile, but said nothing, directly walking towards the imperial palace, this was something that happened every day in the capital. Even though it had been a month, more than half of the people in the kingdom were still here to watch the show that IT wasn't just because Xiao Liang Jiu made a difference every time, but also because of the seventh prince's clean appearance. He was so beautiful that he was unparalleled in the world that handsome face was even more exquisite and delicate than a woman's. It was like a work of art from the heavens. Just a slight glance was enough to make all the women in the capital blush, that indifferent appearance, that temperament was as clear as ice, and the arrogance emitted from his body seemed to be carved into his bones. That indifferent look that could repel people a thousand miles away, yet it made people unable to shift their eyes away. Oh, oh, he's so handsome. Xiao Liangjiao held her chest, 
looking like she was about to drool. She strode forward like an arrow and opened her short and fat arms as she blocked the way out. What's the matter, Miss Chiao? She spoke in a low and calm voice and looked at Xiao Yangjiao without any expression, Xiao Yangjiao pointed at her black panda eyes and shyly asked, Seventh Prince, do you see the smoky makeup I've painted for you today? Smoked makeup. Everyone looked at Xiao Yang Jin's eyes after the grandma created the peach blossom makeup with peach blossoms all over her face, the hangover makeup with her hair in a mess and the innocent dog makeup with the entire pug on her face, she successfully created the new makeup that everyone could talk about after lunch, seeing that she didn't say anything, Xiao Yang Jiao's blinking became even more intense. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.